fog. All right, boys, I've got a fun one coming your way today. Now, I've been wanting to do this video for some time, and uh, I think it's gonna be a good one. Uh, now, if you know, in the last video, I did some experiments with zinc plating, and I ended up with a bunch of cars like this that are real shiny. Well, what I wanna do with this one is I wanna take one of those cars, not this one, <laughs> one, that I, one that I plated, and I wanna see if I can get a Spectra Flame type finish with, uh, with a water-based paint. Now, I know there are other solutions out there, and uh, they work pretty well. But from my understanding, most of those are urethane-based paint, and I just haven't had much luck with, uh, with that style of paint. And I really like water-based. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to use these Createx Candy 2O paints, which is a translucent paint on a plated surface. Uh, we should get something resembling Spectraflame. Um, that's my hope. These are water-based and they are really, really good paints. I've had a lot of luck with these in the past, and I'm hoping that will continue. Now, the car I'm working on is like this one. Now, I'm actually pretty deep into this project right now, so this is all I have to show you currently. If you, if, if you watched my last video, you know that I have some issues, and I think I'm going to address those first. So let's go ahead and get to that, and uh, then we'll start working on this car. Okay, um, I think we're ready to try this again. Um, I'm not sure exactly uh, which bits that I've already talked about are going to show up in the video, so I'll kind of go over it. My first attempt at painting this car went horribly. This is the car we're painting right here, uh, this Mazda. The first time I attempted to paint it, my, my, uh, my airbrush got clogged, and then when I cleared the clog, it just basically broke. And I spent several hours trying to fix it, and I couldn't fix it. So I had to go ahead and strip the car from what paint did get laid down. I went ahead and repolished it and washed it. It's, it's ready to go. Um, I went ahead and bought another airbrush, and I bought a nice one. So this is the airbrush I bought. It's an Iwata Eclipse. Uh, not a super expensive airbrush. It's actually a really good beginner's brush. Uh, it was 150 bucks. So we're going to give... This guy try, it feels great. The quality difference between this and the cheaper Amazon brushes I've been using is mostly in fit and finish and you know, uh, machining quality, tolerance levels, stuff like that. Uh, those Chinese airbrushes really paint well. My issue is they just, that they just don't last long. I'm constantly changing brushes to something that just feels different in my hand and I want some consistency. So I went ahead and bought a more expensive airbrush and we are gonna give that a shot. So I've gone ahead and I've mixed my paints. We're gonna lay a, a base coat of black. I think on both of these, this interior and uh, this base, even though the interior is black, but I think I want a, a not plasticky looking color on that interior. And that's the interior for the Mazda. The other one is for a different car. Once I've done that and I've got kind of a feel for the airbrush, this is the first time I've used it, uh, we're going to go ahead and spray Createx Poison Green on these two cars. So hopefully this works out better than last time. Um, I've done a lot of research. I want to do a few things differently. But I think for the most part, uh, my issue was I had an airbrush that was hanging on by a thread. And then the last time I cleaned it, uh, the thread broke.
Okay, so I've got my detail painting done. Here's how the car turned out. Overall pretty good. I also did a little bit of work to the interior. Nothing crazy, just a few details. Now, I think it'll help, help this pop. But for the most part, I wanted this to stay a lot like the original. I sprayed a coat of bleed checker on here and it really dulled the finish. So I need to get a gloss coat on here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And once that's finished, I think we'll be able to reassemble the car. Okay guys, are you ready? You ready? Here we go. Boom. Here she is guys. And let me tell you what, she is a beaut. I am really happy with this. I was hoping that these paints would give me something like Spectre Flame. Was not expecting it to come out this well. This is really, really close to antifreeze. And yeah, I am extremely happy with how this turned out. It's not perfect. I'm not like 100% on board. Uh, my, uh, I had a little bit of problem with the top coat. I ended up using this stuff right here, which is the wrong product for modeling. Uh, this is 5604, and what you should be using is... Uh, I think it's 4050 or 4053. Those are the, the gloss and high gloss um, top coats you should be using for Candy 2.0. Um, but that's what I had, so that's what I, I used. And it still turned out really well. Um, my paintwork was okay. It wasn't great. I don't know if you noticed in the video, I really started bearing down too hard. I, I, was, I was so far along in this project, I didn't want to mess it up. And I think I just got nervous. And uh, I was just bearing down. Let me back it up and I'll show you. I was just bearing down so hard with my brush that I started shaking a little bit. And uh, it's not a good thing to happen. But I got it on and I pretty much corrected all the, the little mistakes that I have. Uh, we did a little bit of interior work. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard. Um, I got some speaker grills and a little um, brace between the uh, those... Uh, uh, shock towers it's okay right i should have done a little bit of base work i think uh, i left the base blank but the reason for that is i wanted to compare this car to the original which is right here um which in all honesty uh, for a dollar car this thing looks amazing uh, but i wanted to see you know the difference between uh, a specter flame type car and this uh it's like a two-stage a translucent green on top of a um, metallic base coat it looks great uh, but boy this thing just it just gleams that shine you see there that's the zinc underneath the paint it's really pulling off that old school spectra flame look because this car wasn't polished to a mirror finish and the top coat isn't just like super glassy uh, and if i was doing a uh, an original Spectre Flame car, I would probably, I might even go with this stuff because this is a really nice top coat um, and it's not super glossy. So yeah, here's a, here's an old school uh, Spectre Flame car. Now this is a different color. Really happy with how this turned out. Um, and I think we're going to be using this a lot. Like I said at the beginning, I've been looking for a water-based alternative for Spectre Flame for a while. And I've been wanting to try uh, these Candy 2.0 paints. This is the color I use. This is Poison Green for this car. 
the great thing about these paints is for starters, they're pretty cheap. This, this is a two ounce container and it was like eight or nine dollars. Uh, the urethane stuff you can buy online, it's like six or seven bucks for a half an ounce. It's like four times the amount for the same price. Uh, it looks great and it's water-based. And to top that all off, these things are readily available. If, if I run out, I can just walk my happy ass down to Hobby Lobby and pick up another bottle and be, be back home in an hour. There are a lot of good things about this paint working. And uh, I'm really interested in doing this some more. So uh, yeah, the next few projects I do are gonna be Spectra Flame style. Guys, this works. Um, I don't know if you have the setup to, uh, to zinc plate your cars. Uh, if not, you should work on it because it's not hard. It's not hard at all. It, you don't need a power supply. Just a, a C-cell battery will work, and then everything else you just get at the you know get at Walmart or Target. And like I said, these paints, these paints are at Hobby Lobby. Everything you need, you can basically get uh, locally to do this sort of finish. I Man, look at that. Guys, I'm done. This video is over. I'm moving on to the next project. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. All right, y'all take care.